welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be reading some popular romances. I had asked you guys on the community tab to vote on the reading vlog that you wanted to see next. I had like five options. I am going to do all those other vlogs eventually, but this is the one that you guys voted on. And when I was thinking about this vlog, I kind of already had books in mind that I wanted to read. And then I realized I had more than three or four options. I had five. And I figured you guys could vote on the three that I read for sure. I might get to a fourth. It kind of just depends on how I'm feeling or how long this vlog is going to take me. But I will for sure read the top three. So I put up another poll and you guys voted on the top three. So I'm going to read those for this vlog. Thank you so much for participating in the polls. I love putting up polls on the community tab to just kind of see what you guys want from my videos. If I have multiple options, multiple ideas, it's nice to kind of get your guys' input. The one thing I will complain about is that you don't really see community posts on the YouTube webpage. Like if you use YouTube on your phone or like with the app, you'll see the community posts in your actual like sub feed. Whereas on the web browser, like if you just go on the internet, you don't really see community tabs, which is kind of annoying because I feel like a lot of people miss them. But thank you so much for voting. I am very excited to read the books today. So the five options that we had were Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. This is not her newest book, but it's the one before her newest one. I want to read all of her books in order. I have read all of her previous books aside from this one and her newest one, so I would love to catch up and read this one. We also had Zodiac Academy The Awakening by Caroline Packham and Suzanne Valen Valenti. Valen Valenti. <laughs> I never know how to pronounce these names. This is a pretty popular book. It was very hyped on book talk and stuff and I've heard decent things about this so this was an option. We also had Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. This is one of my most recent purchases. I've heard amazing things about this from book talk and booktube so I'm excited to possibly read this. I feel like this one is gonna win and it's just about serial killers falling in love, which sounds very fun. We also have Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. This one I thought was pretty popular, but I was kind of like keeping an eye on the poll and this one didn't really do that well, which I'm kind of surprised because I thought this one was pretty popular. I think this might be a love triangle, but it is like a college new adult romance. And then we have Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher, which is one of her newer books. I know the second book in the series is coming out soon. It might be already out, I'm not sure, but I feel kind of hit or miss with Lauren Asher, so I want to give her another try with one of her newer books, so we'll see if this one wins. I am going to look at the poll right away and see all of the ones that I will be reading for this vlog. So also if you're not sure where the community tab is, you can just go on my channel and it'll be like kind of at the top where it says home, videos, live, playlists, and community. So that is where you'll be able to see all of my community posts and stuff. Also one thing I will say about YouTube polls is they never have an end time. So they could literally go on forever. I did post this poll on Friday and it's currently Sunday. So I did kind of let it sit for a while and I am very shocked by these results. So the one with 34%, which is the highest one, is Butcher and Blackbird. So I will be reading this. Then we have Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez with 29%. And then shockingly, Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher beat Zodiac Academy by 1%. So Love Redesigned had 15% and Zodiac Academy had 14%. And then Say You Swear only had 8%, which is kind of shocking. I thought it would have a little bit more votes, but yeah, these are the top three that I will be reading for sure. Obviously, once I finish these three, I might read Zodiac Academy 
or I might just end the video. We'll see how I'm feeling because these are not like super short books. Obviously, Love Redesigned is kind of long. I am very excited to read all of these and I'm going to hopefully keep this vlog as spoiler free as possible, but I will probably be sharing some quotes and some out of context things, I guess, but I cannot wait to dive into all three of these. I think I'm gonna start with Butcher and Blackbird first. Hopefully I can get through a decent amount of this today. I mean, ideally I'd love to finish it today, but I also do have to go to my grandparents' house today because it is Ukrainian Easter. So I have to celebrate with them today. And I don't know how much I'm gonna wanna read after I get home, so we'll see. But I'm gonna start this right away. I am currently only 72 pages into Butcher and Blackbird. I always want to say Blackbird and Butcher, but it's Butcher and Blackbird. So I'm not very far into this, but I'm really enjoying it. It's really fun. It's funny. It's already very swoony. I am loving Rowan. He is down bad already. He is literally obsessed with Sloan from like the moment he met her and I loved how he like admired her work, which was so funny. Like it is pretty fast paced, but also at the same time, I feel like the story is kind of slow. I feel like the characters have barely interacted and I wish they actually like spent more time together, but I feel like maybe they'll be more together later on in the book, but I am liking how it's kind of like a competition between them. I'm gonna keep reading and see what happens next. Truly says all the best things. He is so swoon worthy. <laughs> I'm on page 114, and it's definitely getting more like action packed and exciting. I've oddly been busy for the past like two days. Yesterday was when I started this vlog and I went to my grandparents' house and I ended up not feeling good after that. So I didn't read. Obviously you saw that I read earlier this morning and I read for a couple hours and then I got busy again. But now I'm going to hopefully finish Butcher and Blackbird. I'm currently on page 181. So I'm like a little over half and I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm loving the characters. I'm loving the whole vibe and energy of this book. I finally got to the part where I feel like Sloane and Rowan are going to spend a lot more time together. Finally, that's what I've been waiting for. I just want them to be together. I just want them to spend more time together. When people talk about this book, there's always a reference to like an ice cream scene. I finally read that and that was really funny. I also really enjoyed like the part that I just read where I have like another competition again. It kind of goes wrong in a way, I guess. And that was really interesting to read about. I'm excited to see the outcome of that and like what happens next. And we've also gotten more clues on Sloane and Rowan's 
past and like their childhood and stuff which has been really interesting also i know like who the next book is about so that has been kind of fun to see like the two characters that are going to be together i'm like even though they haven't interacted they don't know each other or anything like that but i I'm excited to see where that goes. Hopefully we get like a little bit of that in here. That would be nice. I can already see myself wanting to reread this and properly annotate it. I just feel like I'm breezing through it and I don't want to stop to annotate. So this is definitely going to be a book, hopefully, that in the future I'm going to want to reread it and annotate it. But I kind of just want to read it first at full speed and enjoy the ride. This is so disgusting. <laughs> I did not expect this to go here. <sighs> the way that Rowan thinks of Sloane, I just love him. Does this mean there's going to be a mystery that continues into the next book? I'm reading the epilogue. I decided to sleep on this before I talked about my thoughts. I also did manage to write all my notes in my reading journal and I definitely had some notes. I'm going to give this a solid 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. It was action packed. It was suspenseful. It was very adrenaline inducing. I don't know if you could tell in any of the clips when I was kind of reading towards the end, but I do this thing where I read really, really fast, kind of to the point where I'm just almost reading the dialogue because. I want to know what's happening. I like need to speed through the scene because it's so exciting. It's like my eyes are speeding to the end to see what happens. So I was kind of skim reading a little bit in those parts. And after I had finished the book, I actually went back and reread some of that at like a slower, more normal pace to fully understand what happened. I just get really excited when I'm reading suspenseful books and I can't help but like read ahead which is so bad but I usually go back and like reread parts. I think like my only issue with this book is I hate how long it took them to get together like even though you didn't really see the months that they were separated but it just felt like they waited so long to be together which I understand why. I know that Sloan had a really hard time building like a connection with other people because she was scared that she was gonna get hurt and that it wouldn't turn out good but i am really happy that rowan literally just waited for her he knew that he had to wait for her and i loved that i loved everything that he did for her i also love how the title kind of played into the story and the characters and i loved how Rowan called her Blackbird. I loved that. I thought the conflict would be with like the FBI or police officers or like, you know, law enforcement, but the conflict in here was like other serial killers, which I thought was really funny. And the questions I do have about like law enforcement not catching up to them or like figuring out anything about them, I think my questions for that will be answered in the next book because then we get to see what Lachlan does and like who he is because it seems like he 
has some pretty like high connections to people so i'm assuming his character will kind of explain like why they can basically get away with murder or so i'm hoping because i just felt like there was a little bit of plot holes with that a little bit i feel like we didn't really get to see a lot of sloan's past like she did talk about it slightly and we got like a little bit of information about it but i kind of do wish that sloan talked to rowan about it more but i was just so engrossed in the story and in the characters and i loved just how obsessed rowan was with sloan like he loved her from day one he fell first and he was obsessed with her and i loved all the little things that he did for her and honestly i want to reread this book already and annotate it i don't even know if i explained what this book is about but essentially Sloane and Rowan are two serial killers who hunt other serial killers and they end up meeting when they are both trying to kill the same person and they end up deciding to have a little bit of a competition so I think like once every couple of months they get information about one serial killer that they decide to hunt together well not together but like they're competing against each other and whoever kills that serial killer first just gets bragging rights and essentially it's just like a friendly competition between each other but they obviously fall in love it is oddly a very beautiful story but it is very dark there is some like description especially towards the end i was definitely grossed out with like all of the descriptions the book feels very light and fun and like a rom com -y, but then it has like this very dark thrilling side to it and i just think it really worked and i really enjoyed it and i'm so happy that i read it and that i loved it and i now understand the hype i understand why people love this book and i totally get all of the references now and i'm also very excited to read the next book that comes out i think beginning of june then i'm gonna read yours truly by abby jimenez this follows two doctors and that is all i know about it i kind of want to go into it blind I've just heard really good things about this, so I'm excited to read this and hopefully I will love it. currently 104 pages into yours truly and i'm really really enjoying it also look at my cute little bookmark that i have i got this from etsy i'll link it down below it is so cute it's just a long little string with a like a flower at the bottom and then a strawberry at the top super cute i'm about to start chapter 13 and i'm really enjoying this it is kind of emotional like i already feel like i'm tearing up i feel like the way that it's described with jacob's like anxiety and stuff it feels very realistic i i think like most people have anxiety i don't have like severe anxiety or anything like that like i can function day to day but i do get anxious with situations and i am an introvert so i totally do understand a lot of jacob's issues i guess um and how he deals with things and it just feels very re realistic but i feel like i've never really read about a hero that has gone through severe anxiety and mental health issues so it's kind of refreshing to read about and brianna is just trying to get her life on track she's taking care of her brother and i definitely can relate on caring for your sibling i have a younger brother and i care about him a lot and i would do a lot for him so i totally understand where brianna is coming from and her dealing with all of that i'm not a big fan of letter related romances i just find them kind of boring i was worried that it was going to be a letter related romance but i think that kind of just happens in the beginning and then 
I don't think they really interact through letters anymore. So I'm glad that that's kind of over. Even though I was enjoying their letters, I would just rather have them have like dialogue in a scene together. I feel like I'm about to finally hit like the main point of the story or the main point of the book. So I'm excited to see what happens next. I'm almost done. I currently have like 80-ish pages left and I'm really, really loving this. It is making me so emotional. I'm loving both characters and their very slow burn romance. And I just love how they're both like super kind, good-hearted people. I'm reading too fast. I keep fucking skipping things. Okay. <clears throat> I wish they communicated. I wish they talked more. camera died so you didn't get to see me finish this book i think i just had like two pages left but i loved this i think i am gonna give this a five out of five stars but i need to sit on it a little bit just because even though i really loved it and it made me super emotional there is a part of me that feels like it will be forgettable for me but also i gave butcher and blackbird four stars and i loved this more than that so i'm kind of conflicted on how i feel but it's definitely in the high range of like a four to a five star read. I loved both Brianna and Jacob so much. I loved their friends to lovers relationship. I loved how slow they fell in love and how they truly got to know each other and spend time with each other. It just blossomed into such a beautiful relationship and I loved everything about them. I love how they were both very accommodating towards each other and like harmless towards each other. If you've read the book, you know what I'm talking about. They just treated each other with such kindness and carefulness. I loved how Jacob was so in love with Brianna that he overcame, well not like overcame, but he, to him in those moments, his anxiety was like nothing. And if they were together, he would push through his anxiety, which I just think is so beautiful. And it just, felt like they had such a pure love for each other. I think the only thing I didn't love is obviously the miscommunication that happened. That was very frustrating. Yeah, there was a miscommunication and then we had like a happy moment and then miscommunication again. And that was super frustrating. I loved the end itself, but I think that situation was very frustrating and I kind of knew something else was coming because there was the miscommunication part then they were happy and there was still like at least 50 pages left and I was like something sad is gonna happen now like some other miscommunication or something so that I didn't love it kind of felt like the book should have already ended but other than that I loved this book I loved Jacob's family I loved uh, Brianna's family. I loved how we got to see Alexis and Daniel in here, who are the couple from Part of Your World. I guess to explain this book, it follows Brianna and Jacob, who are doctors who work in this same hospital. And Jacob is new to this hospital, and they kind of have a really bad first impression, first meeting. And Brianna thinks that Jacob is this really rude mean person but it's just a huge misunderstanding and Jacob decides to write Brianna a letter to kind of explain himself because he's not really good with 
confrontation. So they kind of start up this back and forth with letters and they realize that they really like each other's people and they find each other really funny and they kind of start this little friendship. And Brianna has a sick brother who basically needs like a kidney and Jacob turns out to be a perfect match and he decides that he wants to give that for her, like give her brother a kidney. Essentially in return, Jacob asks Brianna to be his fake girlfriend for some wedding stuff that he has to attend. It's just a wonderful story. I feel like I'm really not explaining the premise properly, but it is a great book and I'm really, really happy that I finally read it and I'm very excited to read her newest book. currently 108 pages into Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I'm not loving it, but I'm not hating it. It's just kind of a very like mediocre book to me so far. I mean, I'm barely into this book, but I feel like I just am starting to get into the main plot of this book. We kind of got a lot of backstory on the characters and the families and a little bit of their history. So all of that has been kind of talked about and now we're getting into the plot. I forgot that this was about like home reno interior designing and I don't think I like that in romances. I've read one or two before I think. I'm pretty sure Christina Lauren had one which I didn't end up enjoying. I can't remember the other one, but I, I feel like I've read at least two before. I don't think interior designing and like home reno shows, reality TV shows does well in books, in my opinion. I just don't think it translates well and I don't find it really interesting, but I am gonna push through and read this because I do wanna know about the characters and stuff and the families, but I don't think I'm liking the plot, if that makes sense. I really just wanted to give Lauren Asher another try, so I thought I would pick up her newest book. And I'm wondering if the next story is about uh, Julian's cousin, Rafa. I'm already predicting that his story is next with the nanny, I think. I think her name was like Ellie or something. I, I don't even know what the second book is about. I just know it has a pink cover. I'm not really enjoying these little like notes at the bottom. I find that really, really annoying. Basically, it's just like a translation for some Spanish words or sentences. And it kind of threw me for a loop at first because I thought it was like a text message, but it's literally just like a translation of a word or a sentence, which is, great for reference but it kind of throws me off when it's at the end of the page i kind of wish maybe that there was like a glossary in the in the beginning of the book or at the end of the book that would have been better in my opinion I'm currently 373 pages into Love Redesigned. I am almost done. I have roughly, I think 150 pages left. And honestly, I'm not really enjoying this. It's just really boring, kind of slow. I don't really care about the characters or the romance. I was thinking about DNFing it, but honestly, I'm just gonna push through and finish. It is very easy to read which I think is why I want to finish it, just because it's kind of a breeze to read, even though it is kind of slow. The writing is just like very simple and easy to read, but yeah, I'm just like not really vibing with the story and the characters, so 
it might actually be like a two star read but we'll see how this last little bit is and i don't know i might end up liking the ending a little bit more the beginning was quite slow and then the middle kind of picked up and we're at this point where the characters are like basically in love with each other obviously there's gonna be some sort of misunderstanding or something so i'm not really ready for that drama but i do want to see how it ends and i do want to see their big love confessions because i'm sure we'll have that and that should be entertaining i also did see at the back here that the next book is about rafa i feel like i'm saying his name wrong rafa rafa Oh, are we about to have a love confession already? On page 388. <laughs> Done. I think I'm gonna give Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher two and a half out of five stars. I didn't hate this book. I don't think there's anything wrong with this book. I personally was just bored and I didn't love the characters or the romance. I will say I really appreciate how there was no third act breakup in here. It was more so about Dahlia learning to trust and to find love and accept that she deserves love and that she can be loved and she can love Julian. So I appreciate how that was more so the conflict than there being like a misunderstanding between Julian and Dahlia. So I appreciate that there was no third act breakup. There was no like drama. It was kind of just about Dahlia learning to trust. I do appreciate how Dahlia was very open about her mental health and her taking measures to help, whether that is talking to a therapist or being on antidepressants. I appreciate how open she was about that and she wasn't like ashamed of it. I do feel like later on though in the book, she kind of like didn't really talk to her therapist anymore. Like we didn't really see much of that, which I, kind of wish we got a little bit more of that storyline a little bit. Even though I didn't love the characters, I did like how Julian was in love with Dahlia for like years and years and years. And he basically never had like a serious relationship because of her. And I mean, he did a lot of small things over the years to not really show his love for her, but I think like secretly he was like doing it for himself because he loved her if that makes sense we got like some small revelations of things that he did over the years because of her and i loved that i don't know if i'm going to read the next book in the series i am kind of intrigued but i feel like i don't really love lauren asher which is so sad like i read the first book in the is it dreamland billionaire series didn't like the first book so i never continued um i read the first three books in the dirty air series and i really liked throttled but that was it and then obviously i read this one and yeah i'm just not really impressed with her romances or her characters but i might be intrigued to read the next one i'm gonna obviously wait until that one comes out which i think it comes out like beginning of june so I'm going to wait and see what the reviews are, what people are saying, and maybe I'll give that one a try, but I also feel like I need to know when to give up on authors because I keep trying to give them another chance and I end up being disappointed, so I don't know when to stop. I'm kind of sad I'm ending this video on a low note, but I am not really in the mood to continue this vlog and read Zodiac Academy, so Maybe I'll save that for another vlog or I'll just read that in my own time, but I have a million other things that I need to do and it's stressing me out, so we need to finish this video. Even though I didn't love this, I am still really glad that I read it and I pushed through. And I will say the end was very sweet, very wholesome, very cute. I did get a little emotional when Julian was talking about his dad 
and the scene with his mom. That was very beautiful and heartwarming. But yeah, sadly, this just wasn't my thing. Before I end this vlog, I want to quickly talk about my ratings for Yours Truly and Butcher and Blackbird because I've decided to change my rating of yours truly. I just don't feel like it's a complete five star read for me so I am going to bump it down to four and a half out of five stars because I feel as though the story and the characters and the romance is just forgettable. Like even though I loved it in the moment when I was reading it, I just feel like I already forget everything that happened in this book. When I gave out five star readings, it is because the book is literally unforgettable for me. Like it is a favorite and this just is not that, but it is very close. So it's a four and a half. And then I was thinking if I should change my rating for Butcher and Blackbirds, but I think I am gonna keep it at a solid four. And then yours truly four and a half. And we finished with Love Redesigned at a two and a half. Kind of knew I was gonna like Butcher and Blackbird and Yours Truly. I was very unsure of how I would feel about Love Redesigned, but I did, in the back of my mind, know it was gonna be like a three star or less. I had a blast reading these books and vlogging the entire thing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I do feel like it was kind of all over the place and I apologize. I honestly did not have good timing when I started this vlog and I don't know, springtime, it's always busy. I have a million things I need to do and I picked the wrong time to start this vlog, but I got through it. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what you think about them. And if you have any suggestions on how I can improve my vlogs or if you wanna see something different in my reading vlogs, let me know down below. Let me know what reading vlogs you want to see from me next. I have so many ideas and I'm very excited to start doing more reading vlogs. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!